Hello everyone, welcome to our next video. In this video, we'll see filing GSTR 1. So, our object and focus area, what is GSTR 1? When is filing due date of GSTR 1 and how to file it? So, what is GSTR 1? GSTR 1 is a monthly or quarterly return which every tax registered tax GST taxpayer need to be filed GSTR 1. It contains all the detail of outward supply means sales. When is the GSTR 1 due date? So GSTR 1 due date, if you are filing for quarterly, then 13th of the following month, the relevant quarter or for monthly filing, is it 11th of the next month. Now, let's move into the portal and see how to file GSTR 1. So GST portal, click on first one, GST portal, then click on login, write your username, enter your password. Capture, click on login. Click on written dashboard. Select quarter. We will doing a monthly filing. So we have filed for September month. So, September will came into quarter 2. So, click on quarter 2 and then select create September. Click on GSTR 1. I am doing for the e-commerce business. So, there is only B2B, B2C supply. If you have a B2B or C supply, then for B2B invoice, you have to update in 4A, 4B first. This is for B2B supply, means business to business supply. If there is any large invoice of B2C, business to consumer, then that invoice will be came here five in a 5A column. There's any export invoice, then it will came 6A. If there's any B2C supply, then it will be came in 7. If there's any nil rated supplies, then came into 8A, 8B and 8C, 8D. If there is any credit or debit note, tax liability, document if any issued during the tax period, adjacent by summary and adjustment of advance. For amendment, if you have any amendment for the previous month, then amendment will be done from here in amendment report details. If there's you want to amendment in B2B invoice, then click on 9A for B2B invoice. If you want to amendment in B2C large invoice, then amendment B2C large invoice, amendment in export invoice, credit and debit note, B2C others, others means normal invoices and a part of the large B2C invoices, amendment in uh, credit and debit notes, tax liability adjustment in advance. So right now we are doing for B2C others. So click on B2C others. Click on add record. Select your place of supply. Then write down the taxable value. Write your taxable value. Select 
select your rate. Then click on save. Then click on save. Again, if there is more than if you are in your business, there is a more than uh, one rate, then you can again select your place, place of supply, write the taxable value, and then select off rate. If you have supply another state, there is a tax rate is similar, but you have supplying intrastate also, then you have to select your state. Write the taxable value, enter the tax rate, then click on save. After in after enter the all the record, you can see your record and tally with your working note of GST. After everything is okay, click on back, then came into that, generate, click on generate summary. If there is any export invoice, click on export invoice, okay, then click on add record, whatever the Sorry, red mark. Red mark is given, it is mandatory. So for invoice number, you have to update your invoice number, invoice date. Total invoice value. It is without payment of GST tax or with tax. For our side, it is without payment of tax. And click on save. It is without payment of tax. So update it is nil GST doing zero percent. I have added. Then click on after that. Scroll down, generate your summary. It is showing you generate your summary request has been received. Please check this status sometime by clicking on refresh. Refresh button is there. Click on refresh. Again, scroll down. As you can see, there is mentioned proceed to file summary. You have to click on that. Check your summary. If it is everything is fine, then click on file statement. Click on file statement. Click on the checkbox, authorized signatory, and click on the file with EBC.
enter the OTP, after enter the OTP, click on verify. Click on verify. As you can see, GSTR1 written has successfully filed. If you want to see it is filed, not click on written. Click your quarter and period. You can see as status GSTR1 filed. So we have seen what is GSTR1, mainly the due date of GSTR1 and how to file GSTR1 for monthly. Quarterly is the same all same process. Okay. I will show you in the next video how to done quarterly GST filing. Thank you so much for everyone. If you have any doubt, you can drop us mail info at the red skill anything.com or contact us in this number. Thank you so much.